So in this section, we're going to look at solving um, second order, order systems by using augmented matrices. So this procedure may seem a bit tedious at first, but it does have its advantage because it is a like highly ordered way of solving the problem. So it really allows like a computer to solve the problem. So in this section, we're just going to look at two equations with two anodes using this method. But in the next section, you can solve the systems with three or more variables. So let's say, for example, that we have the um, system 2x plus 3y equals 32. Here, I'm actually going to get rid of all this junk. Whoops, hang on. Okay, so we're going to have 2x plus 3y equals 32, and 5x plus 4y equals 59. So let's say we're going to want to eliminate x. Um, to eliminate x, we're going to have to first multiply this second equation by 2, and then we're going to need to multiply the first equation by negative 5, and then add the two together, and that will eliminate x. So let's do that real quick. And um, So if we uh, multiply this equation by negative 5, we're going to get negative 10x um, minus 15y, um, equals uh, equals uh, negative 160. And then if we multiply this equation by 2, we're going to get 10x plus 8y equals um, 118. Now if we add these equations together, we're going to get 0x um, minus 7y equals negative 42. So now dividing each term by negative 7, we're going to get 0x plus y equals 6. So really this is just y equals 6, but I'm leaving the 0x there. So basically you can uh, see how the system works using the matrices. So basically we're going to write the system uh, like this. We're going to show the matrix like with a little bracket and we're going to write the coefficients exactly in the order they appear so it's going to be 2, 5, then 3, 4 and then we indicate where the uh, constants are by this vertical line this will be 32, 59 so this is going to be the augmented matrix so now that we have the matrix, like the system written in a concise manner, so like with the matrix, operations can now be formed uh, or now be performed on on the matrix itself, um, just as they were for the system above. So we're gonna end up doing the same thing using like a specific notation, but we're gonna end up multiplying the bottom, the second row by two, and then we're gonna subtract five times the first row because that's going to eliminate x, which are these terms. So I'm going to write that here and show an arrow saying multiply m2, which means multiply by 2. And then we're going to say add negative 5 times 1. The, this notation means that we're going to t multiply the second row by 2, then add negative 5 times the first row, which is what we did in the, um, in, in the system or in the system itself when we solve for y. So what this is going to get is the first row is going to stay the exact same because we're not really changing that row. And that's going to be 2 and then 3 with the vertical line, then 32. Now, uh, we just need to perform these operations on the second row, which we already did in the system itself. So this we found was 0, and then negative 7, and then negative 42. Because it was 0, we got 0x zero minus 7y equals negative 42.
So now we can d divide the second row by negative 7, and then this is going to basically get us solving for y. So I'm going to write the step right here and then just continue it on to the next page. So I'm going to write the division symbol negative 7. So that means divide the second row by negative 7. So that's going to get us, we're going to leave the first row the same, and it's going to be 2, 3, and then 32. And then dividing by negative 7 on the second row, we're going to get 0, then 1, and then 6. So what these equations are saying now is we have 2x plus 3y equals 32 along with 0x plus y equals 6. So really, by getting just the 0 and the 1, we're, we're solving for y, and we found that y equals 6. So now that we've solved for y, we can do the same thing, um, but solve for x by basically uh, per performing similar operations, but now in the first row. So... So this can be done by multiplying, we're going to leave the first row actually the same, we're going to multiply it by 1, and then add negative 3 times the second row. So we're multiplying um, negative 3 times the second row, and then adding it to the first row, and this will eliminate x. So we're going to write the notation same exact way, it's going to be m1, meaning multiply this row by 1, and then we're going to add to this row negative 3 times the second row. And so that is going to yield um, the equation 2x plus 0y equals then 14. And the second row is going to remain the same because it's already solving for um, y. Now all we need to do is divide the first row by 2 and we'll be solving for x. So I'm going to write that here, divide by, and then positive 2. And we'll write the next box right here. So this will finally yield 1x plus 0y equals 7. And then we already have 0x plus 1y equals 6. So, now that we have it in this form with just the coefficient of 1 by the x and 0 for y, and for here 0 for y, or 0 for x and 1 for y, we solve for x and y. So we know the solution to this system of equation is going to be the ordered pair um, x equals 7, y equals 6. So basically, the purpose of solving these problems using augmented um, matrices is to basically list the coefficients um, in in like a regular form, and then we want to get them um, the matrix into the form of basically one x times zero y equaling some constant, which I'm just going to call c and then 0x plus 1y equaling some different constant, which I'll call capital C. And uh, basically, the form, like, well, you need to manipulate the matrix in order to get it into this form, which is, in a sense, solving for x and y.